Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top eight of the Delta Flight Club Qualifier. I'm excited to be here. This is a European time zone event. And uh, our European fam out there are, are, are loving it, right? They're, they're chilling Sunday night, X-Wing, uh, just like they like it, right? Or maybe mid-afternoon right now. I, I, my times are all screwed up. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we are live normally every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday right here on our Twitch channel. And if you're watching later on YouTube, come join us. Monday podcast, Wednesday or Saturday games. But these guys have ships that are real fast. So we're going to go ahead and open up that Choose Your Champion poll while my host, William Hagwood, breaks down the lists. All right. Good morning. And pop, pop. Let's get down to it. Let's start with the left side here. We have... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Nabi flying uh, the Resistance. He's got three A-Wings and Poe. That's Merle with Intimidation. Tally with Thread Tracers. ZZ Tolo with Cluster Missiles and Advanced Optics. And Poe Damren. Um, that is Trigger Happy Flyboy version with Heroic R4 Astromech, Overdrive Thrusters, Jamming Beam, and Integrated S-Foils. We've seen uh, this a couple times. We know now he's very good at his A wings and his three A wings and Pope. Uh, now is uh, into the cut in this tournament, and his uh, skills are going to be put to the test up against the first order. And that's Nick Burke flying a trio of first order silencers. That's Kylo Ren with Sense. Uh, not Kylo. <laughs> oh, lot. He's got a. He's got an altar. I actually got to look at it here. It's a Sinar Jameis uh, engineer, and it looks like that is blackout uh, with uh, trick shot. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it is right. <laughs> he's got a fun uh, altar card that just says "Not Kylo." <laughs> so, which ship is it? Uh, it's Blackout with uh, Trick Shot. So Blackout's ability is when he shoots through a rock, uh, he reduces the opponent's uh, rolled green dice by two. So essentially prevents the obstruction bonus and reduces their attack dice normally. Brought Trick Shot to increase his attack dice as well. That's a pretty big swing uh, for shooting uh, through a rock there. We'll see how much they can take advantage of it. Though I am... Uh, I always question blackout uh, shooting through gas clouds because sure mm -hmm. you take away their agility, but you give them the free mod as well. Yep. So I, I feel like that cancels out, but not always. Uh, right. Yeah, the the silencer chassis. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> extremely powerful. Nice. Uh, the double reposition. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> good dial. Got the five forward green to clear stress. Uh, you have the auto thrusters ability after you perform an action, you may for the red barrel or red boost there. Very powerful. And I can, I'm going to make a guess here mm -hmm. that what's been um, really helping out Nick with his silencers is uh, one of the few upgrades he brought, uh, which is that sense. Being able mm -hmm. to either. Uh, look at a ship style at range 0 to 1, or spending the force from Kylo to look at a, any ship style at range 0 to 3 instead. Um, that information for the Sinar Jameis Engineer, who moves at I-1, put him into a great blocking position. Also being able to get shots on slippery uh, I-6 yep. pilots. We do see that Nabi has the first player here, so we'll be moving... Uh, ZZ and Tali first before Blackout and Kylo. Uh, so that sense is really going to be useful against Poe, um, but could also be uh, utilized by the Sinar Jameis Engineer to set up some blocking positions. Yeah, absolutely love the sense call. It was something that we saw a lot uh, in early 
early 2020, there was a lot of sense shenanigans going on. There were, it was in the Republic as well as on Kylo a lot, something we haven't seen in a long time. Now, looking at the betting right now, it is near 50-50. Right now, near 50-50. Some people looking at that I-6 on Poe thinking, hey, that might be an advantage. But like we just said, there could be some uh, some shenanigans there with sense being used to mitigate some of that uh, late moving repositioning. Uh, you have about two more minutes to get your Choose Your Champion in. If there is any type of dice swings right here, I'm immediately they're closing about, it down. They're about two. <laughs> uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll put it right on Navi, I guess. Uh. I'm, about to, I'm, I'm about to shut this down. I'm, I'm not happy about it, but uh, I, I think Nami's got a slight advantage here. He's got the extra ship, uh, and he's got a uh, nice six. But most of the time, his three ships are just shooting two attack dice against three agility. So I think it's going to be close. I, 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 I would agree with the overall sentiment of our poll that it's going to be close. Looking at it right now with the last-minute swap of bets, as we as I told them, I was going to close it down. The people are starting to push for the first order. Nick Burke starting to get some advantage here. Current percentage split at 45-54. Boost uh, after the focus there for Blackout, getting a little aggressive, trying to double-team on to Merle, get rid of that initiative one blocker. Poe coming out strong, three bank, getting aggressive here. Are we going to get a just set up target lock focus? Just trade some good shots here with Kylo? We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the advantage that the First Order do have is that a lot of the times these A-Wings are just going to be doing the two attack dice. Should be able to shrug off most of them. Hopefully prevents a lot of damage. But that Poe. Okay, took a target lock. Focus. All right. Going for the double mod instead of getting aggressive and trying to get range one. 30 seconds left. Soon as soon as these dice resolve here, I'm closing it. <laughs> Unless there's no damage. We're expecting three hits if he spends the focus. Unless he just decides mm, to target spend lock. The lock, lock yep. for offense, defense for fo er, focus on D. Got all three. One shield down. Bets are closed. You missed your chance. <laughs> you done messed up. Looking for advantage on uh, like trying to as wait as late as possible to get your bet in. You done messed up if you missed it. Oh, TNX052, you just got wrecked. <laughs> Soundbound BE wrecked. So, so late. Call that back. looks like we got long range shot here through the clown. Unlikely, but you got to try. Ooh, excuse me. Fading already. No worries. No worries. Too early. I, I hold you up. <laughs> I, I'm excited. We got so much Ky more X going. Kylo hit crit looking at Poe. And takes a shield. That focus ends up not mattering. First shield down. <laughs> Three hits. Ooh, that is. And taken two. Right there. Sh Poe shields down. I mean, Poe mm -hmm. is the biggest threat in Nobby's list for Nick. If he can get him down early, he's almost halfway there. That's going to make a big difference. Expect to see Blackout and Kylo continue to bully. Uh, those A-wings, ZZ and, and Tally, a little bit far away to help out Poe. Yeah, uh, Draco uh, from our chat uh, <laughs> saying, kill Poe, win game. Uh, makes sense to me. Now, let's talk a little bit about Merle. Okay, Merle is an absolutely fantastic little ship here. The cheapest of the RZ2 A-Wings somehow. FFG on the way out just went wild. They're like, watch this, X-Wing, before we leave. FFG out, okay? <laughs> so uh, if Merle is sitting in the bullseye of a defender, okay, so basically getting getting a block is usually what they're trying to do. Uh, but if you're sitting in the in the bullseye of, the, of a 
Uh, and your so it's let me just read it while a friendly ship at range zero to two performs a primary attack if you are in the defender's bullseye the defender rolls one fewer defense dice that's part one of the combo part two also has intimidation so that's minus up to two agility and that could be absolutely painful on someone like kylo ren who you paid 81 points for and you bring him down to one agility that could be real sad Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see who he uh, who he ends up trying to punish. He could also go after blackout, but taking out one of these silencers early will be important. I'm just curious to see if uh, you know Nobby ends up prioritizing kind of a spread setup to start with with Tally and and uh, and ZZ starting at the left side of the board. And I know that they're fast, but at the same time, Nick has converged on this bottom part of the board uh, pretty quickly as well. We'll see if those A wings can get there on time to help out their boy Poe. Yeah, they got they got the speed to do it. Uh, I think that's really the 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 only problem with the silencers is, is that they're always going to be stressed a little bit more predictable for that Merle block. Uh, Rish Rishta in the chat says Dion said he doesn't take bullying requests and proceeds to bully the chat. Yeah, I just, I do it on my own on my own accord. You know, it's on my own time. <laughs> Again, I don't like being told what to do, but, you know, I'll, I might do it anyway. <laughs> They're not exclusive to each other. And admit it, you like it. All right. <laughs> All righty. Looking at positioning here. We have a sense use through forward yeah. blue. I mean, Poe po is the, definitely the silencer's priority. And they can't do anything about Merle. All right, so Merle kind of splitting the difference. Right in between Blackout and Kylo could block the Kylo too hard to the right or Blackout moving forward. I'd be a little bit worried about Blackout more than uh, than Kylo. We'll see what we get. Looks like they're chit-chatting just a little bit. Yeah, it looks like Nobby's considering a boost or something. Mm-hmm. I think he was discussing other options he could have taken to get in that same position. Okay. All right, well, Sign Arms uh, got the cloud coverage and he has a shot on Merle. Nothing else to do. Then focus up. ZZ coming in for help. Hanging out on the side there. Focus. He's thinking about some other repositions here. Again, Nobby is the first player, so has to move before both Blackout and Kylo. What you, if you were... Uh, guessing here. Uh, is Blackout going left or right? I mean, I, I, I would, I would think you going, you're going to the uh, to its left, so the bottom, bottom right hand corner of the of the board, because you would expect Poe to run, but you don't want to like the two straight. See, oh, the two bank. There it is. Merle active. Yep. That's intimidation. Active. I think, uh, man, Nick. Nick played it a little bit too aggressive. I I thought that he would have uh, would have done a little something else, but got bumped. Let's see if Nobby can take advantage of it though, because he really only I has mean, a single shot. Yeah, maybe Tally's got like a range three shot or something, but mm -hmm. I mean, every, every damage is what's going to matter. Uh, assuming we'll see a a pover drive here. Mm-hmm. Could just white boost, maybe. I don't know if that gets you out of the sign there, so. Yeah, boosting to the left. Maybe, yeah, we do have those overdrive thrusters. Focus into the, there's the big boost. Gets around, likely arc dodges both of them. Mm-hmm. Surprised it didn't target lock there. 
think I think it was just, just in case he was still in the arc of the uh, Sinar Jameis. Sure. So now, Kylo did if... double reposition, right? So should be should be right. stressed. Yep, he's got. It. So this will be just intimidation, no Merle. Gonna shoot a tracer missile here. Maybe that's why Poe decided for just the focus. Yep. So that the blackouts arc was turned enough not to be in the not to have Merle in the bullseye, is that correct? Well, this is it's too far away from Merle. Merle's only range one to Z two. You're right, you're right. Zero zero to two. You're right, you're right. So that's two hits, one evade, and that's a lock party. You get a lock, and you get a lock. That's right. Everybody. I'll take a little lock for me. <laughs> now, those, those thread tracers, absolutely awesome tech, very popular right now. And all, yep. all, the, all the people range one to, one to three of the defender get that target lock. Here's a nice synergy here. Going to give ZZ the lock for cluster missiles. A three dice attack. And that is all three going through there. And got a direct hit. We have that blackout all the way down to two hull. Take the half points. Wow. Just shows you how powerful that Merle piece is. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're talking about, you know, two agility on three dice. Uh, two attack dice on three agility could be rough. Merle <laughs> even those stats out pretty fast. And here we go. Sinar Jameis trying to do some pain to, to Merle. You hurt my boy. Going back at him. And he will get at least one shield. 25% of the way there. Blackout. Blackout's in pain. Usually the silencers play pretty loose and uh, off the cuff while they still have their shields, but once uh, once they're gone, that uh, no, but it's, makes it's hiding between hiding behind gas clouds and mm -hmm. uh, taking turns off. I think at this point, Blackout says, "You know, I think shooting behind glass clouds sounds really good now. <laughs> yeah. We're just we're just gonna hang out." Yeah, so I expect him to, I mean, you have the chance to get behind Poe right now, but also that's probably where Merle's heading, though, too. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. probably needs to disengage, but, but with only three shots per round, uh, every disengage, every missed shot there, uh, it's just slowing down the damage race. Now, one of the things you know, interesting about the, you know, we were talking about Nobby's setup to begin with. Uh, basically, the option that he took here was Poe almost became bait, right? So he was able to draw in blackout, was able to land the Merle hmm? uh, ability here. Poe's coming around the coming around the mountain now, and both Tally and, and CZ well? are into. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Dion, you well, just went uh, totally mute. I did. I think that the people were hurting were hearing me. Can you guys not hear me right now? Hello. Well, he's still hosting. We can hear you. Well, we can hear him. I can't hear. Him. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, can't go ahead. We All right, no, you cut the, out there for a second. Well, yeah, it must have just on Discord, but they. They were uh, the people at home were hearing me. So basically, what I was saying is we got a, we got a little uh, bait and switch going on. Poe, bait, bringing around Tally and ZZ coming in to punish. I'm wondering if uh, if they can finish off Blackout. Can they? Uh, maybe. I I don't think so. If he can get behind that cloud, probably just have a Merle like range two or three shot, mm -hmm. uh, like rear arc, really be the only thing threatening them. I think the sign on James though is going to come in for some blocking. So I, I feel like those A wings are like they did their front arc, and now they're going to turn around and do some rear arcs, right? Uh huh. Well, 
We'll see. I have, I have a terrible time predicting what A-Wing is going to do. Yeah, I mean, they, they have tons of options. Right? That rotating arc, really, really good. You can shoot out the front or the back. And this is just trying to catch Blackout again, or at least be in the way, saying, hey, Blackout likely can't shoot me unless he does something crazy, like a K-turn. But the Sinar Jameis sure is uh, looking hungry. Yeah, just, just like, whatever. We're just going to keep shooting, Merle. Four straight. I mean, this is, this is, Nobby is looking for the strike on Blackout. Mm hmm. And it was a 50 50 decision, right? And Merle could have chosen to go to the left or the right. Nobby deciding that uh, this way is the way. We'll find out. If Blackout tries to pursue Poe, possibly, or not even pursue because Poe's going to be in the way, but if he chooses to go towards that right side of the board just to avoid the onslaught of the A-Wings. So you can see Nobby is uh, is going hard in that left corner. Oh, yeah. I'm Kylo's more or less safe. Mm-hmm. I could just turn lock Tally. Yeah. Just Target so. locking. People like optics on uh, Kylo. I don't. I, I always end up re double repositioning or just taking target locks instead. Mm. Okay. Well, Blackout uh, does end up going towards that bottom left hand of the corner, but no block. He is sitting in uh, in Merle's arc at range one, though. He's got the double reposition. Can he get out of both? I mean, boost barrel roll back in. You might be able to get some gas cloud coverage and arc on ZZ. Like boost right, barrel roll right. Maybe even obstruct your own shot against Tally. Mm -hmm. There's the focus. the focus. Barrel roll? Okay. Yep. I think that still arc dodges and gets gas cloud coverage with the modifier. Probably the best op option to preserve health. Yep. He 100% got out of Merle's arc. Still at risk of taking a uh, cluster missile, but at least you're not losing any of your agility. I mean, cluster missile is not so bad. It's easy shooting three dice, anyways. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see a. We don't have black one on this. Po, do we? No. No. This please. is definitely the super slim version of Pover Drive, right? He needed more toys on the A wings. I mean, doing I pose a liability sometimes. So. <laughs> I, you're not wrong. Yep. So Ooh, obstructed. It is obstructed. It's going to be three dice, range one primary. Likely doesn't spend any tokens here with the range one sitting. Ooh, unless you can get three. Is he tempted? Yeah. It's like, I can get yeah, a token back. Sven, Sven, they get it back. No, he's going to leave it at one. He wants focus evade. It would have been really? zero damage even if it was three. Good call. Oh, smart. I mean, gas cloud, right? Like, Yeah. Tally does Ooh, barely options. have blackout at range two. Let's see where he decides to go. Only has the focus out there. Going to take yeah, the range one in the Kylo. See if you can strip some of that force. Yeah, with the focus, you're looking for double blank there. That's not likely. Got hit crit. Didn't spend the focus. Could have ended up pushing two through, but staying defensive and getting a shield. Yep. Now I'm recognizing board state that he's up a little bit. No reason to take risks and risk uh, take risk and lose health. Four hits. Ooh. And that's going to be half points on tally after spending the focus. Mm hmm. Yeah, that focus on offense would have been one shotted right there. Mm hmm. Sinar Jameis has a couple of options. So he might end up just choosing going tally? to go to tally. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like two health, no mods, three, uh, even if they are rolling for agility. I think I'd rather. I mean, the math says tally is easier to hit than ZZ, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Here we go. 
Digging deep, two hits. Blank out kills him, and he's gone. Oh, wow. Tally off the board. Rip. She gone. I mean, you were able to use Tally to get a couple shields on Kylo. So you, you, you got something out of the exchange. Losing a ship there does feel bad. And uh, Nick still has three silencers on the board. Wow. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, yeah. A lot of a lot of eyeballs rolled there. Not a single evade. All right. Would you guys like an update on how things are proceeding in the cut? Sure. If there yeah. if there is one. Yes. Uh, so n none from this round yet, or I haven't uh, checked yet. But uh, for the folks at home. In the top cut, we have two rebel lists, one imperial list, one scum list, two resistance lists, and one first order list. So all resistance, or I'm sorry, all republic and separatist lists have been knocked out. And uh, what's surprising about this to me is we have two rebel lists in the cut. Um, and in the first, you know, in the first qualifier, rebels were really popular, but then um, they were this time around the fifth most popular faction so not great um but we're we're seeing them in the final cut mm -hmm. yep not a no no not a single republic list ended up making it into the top cut right yeah no republic lists um and no separatists no separatists and I know, I know some people really, really, really wanted me to make yesterday a top 32, but the math just didn't work out. So I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm curious if I scroll down to 32, do we end up seeing some Republic making it if it was 32? Yeah, there's actually a ton. There's a ton of Republic in that, uh, in that 32 to 17 range. There's quite a few in there. They just. They couldn't quite make that five and one. Telling you, where you at, Republic? Yeah, if it was top thirty-two, we would have had five Republic lists in the cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, super interesting. People love their stats. Again, we're gonna have a bun bunch of stats and all that for you set up. GoldSquadronPodcast.com after today's uh, event on our results page. Couple other things people have, uh, a couple ideas that I've had for the website that are that are oncoming that I'm sure some people would like. Uh, we also are building currently a Hall of Champions just to give a uh, give a record for people who have uh, how things have gone down in Gold Squadron play. Additionally, the other thing I'm developing right now is a uh, an art gallery of sorts. We have commissioned so much art. And uh, not everybody has seen all of it. But the, uh, of course, I want to protect my investment as I, all these artists that we commission are paid and all that. And we don't, don't want anybody copy pasting our, uh, our stuff. So it's take, taking a little while to get it all, all protected and all that. So it takes a little work. But we'll have, have that available for people to look at and, and ask like, oh, Dion, how can I get my hands on that? And I'll give you answers. Yeah, it's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, you can expect uh, in right after you put that gallery up, next meeting I'm going to be like, "Hey, Dion, <laughs> what's up? Uh, how do I get my hands on that stuff?" Away <laughs> at Gold Squadron. I like the total in the overlay. I like the total. Ah, points. Yeah, the points. Like the the total, which total? The points scored. I did oh. that because points change, and when people look back at this mm -hmm. history, um, you know, I I think it's a good um, kind of mark, and also I think it, it informs some initiative decisions. Agreed. Yeah, when we're flying by the sea, it's it's a little bit easier when we have a third part, like like so you're, yourself, right? Like we have a uh, a third person dedicated, like that. Your your job is the stats, right? So like that, that's easy. When we're doing it by the seat of our pants and we're just kind of flying, 
Can't guarantee it's always going to be there. I like it, though. I want to... You know what? I might be able to just get Dennis to program that in automatically. I it doesn't talk. seem like it would be too hard because the, the list automatically generates it. Um, Dennis! The side, so. Dennis! My Australian gentleman. All right. Well, we got Poe setting up the target lock. We're going to get some boost in here. Mm hmm. Barrel roll. What? Really? All right. So he's being cagey. Obviously, I'm getting set up for the turn in. I'm surprised. Okay. I mean, he, he's, he's setting up for an attack run, essentially, what's going on here. Yeah, he's maybe compensating for that overdrive. Yep. I think, oh, you, you're right. He would He was forced to do the two bank, so no, the big boost would not have put him in a great position. They'd have been probably facing the cloud. All righty. We got some attacks coming up. Sinar Jameis is not going to have any shot this turn. Kylo also. But man, Blackout. Blackout's got some uh, got some choice decisions here. Carol, uh, yeah, they're behind. We got rid of it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's making me think of like how long can these A wings distract the silencers before they all converge on Poe again? Mm -hmm. Agreed. Cause that's that. That would be my plan. If I was Nick, would be just weather the storm from the A-Wings for as long as you can. Try to regroup and come in together with all three silencers on the Poe. Forty-two minutes and change left in the match. We're about halfway through. I want to remind you that we have a few more rounds after this. Top four and the final. The final will be a seventy-five minute final. Hashtag seventy five minute final. All right, so look looking forward to uh, to see who wins there. But yeah, I, I'm 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 a hundred percent over the two over the two hour final. We're done. That's it. <laughs> All gold squadron events from now on. Seventy five minute final. Can no can no longer pretend to be okay with it. Yeah, I mean, if AMG keeps it for for a while or forever, then I'll get back excited about it because that's my job. <laughs> but you know, if maybe if if we can get enough of the community to start having the conversation, like, hmm, you know that that two hour final doesn't really make any sense. You, you know, you're right. Having a good conversation, you know, maybe AMG will listen. Man, we're getting some tight maneuvers in here from the Sinar Jameis and then a hard one from ZZ. No bumps. The reasons for a two hour final. Tell me the justification for a two hour final. I mean, complete resolution of the game. I mean, sure, but why? Why? So, in a. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't like it. I mean, to disencourage slow play. I mean, then we just have two hours of slow play instead of seventy-five minutes of slow play. Come on. Come yep, on. show your commitment to slow play. Yeah, do it all. Do it all two hours. Mm -hmm. Nah, no one's missing it. I don't think. All righty.
<laughs> there you go. There you go. See, Ty Tyler, Tyler, Tyler says what I'm thinking in a more, in a stronger way that I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got me, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, I just, I just like the consistency of 75 minutes. Keep it the same. That's really what it comes down to for me. For me. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we got bear we have uh kylo and blackout converging together to chase down poe right i think that kind of feels like what they're yeah. doing reset hard turn two to the next and uh mm -hmm. and joust some poe right. two on one i said you can not completely ignore but you you can for a bit Ignore the two dice attacks from the A Wings. Now they're gonna have some good focus fire on the signer Jameson, but let him mess around with them while he circles back in on Poe. Like I, I see the circle that they're creating here, a little kill box right in front of where Poe is about to be. Alrighty. Poe straight boosting in. No other actions. Yeah, that was just a one forward boost. Yep. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to get too crazy. Maybe want to keep himself on stress for yeah unpredictability. Yep. Because that essentially that's part of the cost of using the overdrive thrusters, right? It's not just you get you know a longer boost and a longer barrel roll. It's you have to pay it for the stress there. Ooh, we have a shot on a fully forced Kylo, so he's going to show him a little bit of dark side. Most likely a panicked pilot, right? On a build, a self-stressing build. Yeah. Like, what else? Yep, you got it. Yeah, you definitely got to grab that panic pilot. Uh, we don't know. I guess I don't normally get the opportunity to read this card, so I yeah, might as well. Yeah, go for it. I'll show you the dark side. <laughs> Show you the dark side. This is Kylo Ren's uh, special condition. His pilot ability. Oh, I guess we'll uh, we'll finish up in between shots here. Give yep. us something to talk about. ZZ range uh, one. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Mm -hmm. Are we staying conservative, Nobby? Or is he choosing violence? I mean, focus of eight is pretty good. Not nah, he's gonna hold no. on to the two. Hold your points. Saw what happened to Tally. Yep. Got that focus spent. He's going to have focus evade there. Uh, who did... Wait, 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 wait. Was that just on the silencer? Stop. Or... Yeah, ZZ Hold Rear on. Silencer. He didn't flip the damage down or anything. He didn't take any damage. Two hits, two evades. Hold on. Give me one. Will's give me right. one, is it one, yeah. <laughs> one second. No, I need nothing, to... nothing happened there. No, Hold on. I'm going to meet the string. Give me a second.
Okay. Check one, two. Will, give me a check one, two. Check one, two. All right, cool. We're back. Two. All good? Mm-hmm. Oh, we gravy. I don't even like gravy. Why am I saying gravy? Marsh Glyph. Like Marsh Glyph immediately says, what happened? If I muted the stream and walked away <laughs> for a minute, I'm definitely going to tell and, you what happened. And, the, and then came back and ignored <laughs> said nothing about it. <laughs> nice. Well, you nice. Know. I got. I, I had a pickle thrown at me. There you go. That's the story. That's the story we go with. I got to I got to business. That's all. You know, got stuff to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Got a tournament to run. That's right. Pickle gravy. I'm not yeah. even sure that's possible, but I would be willing to try it. The worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I thought you said you liked salt and vinegar chips, though. This is what boggles my mind. It's not – see, but the pickle is a much more offensive taste than that. I Listen, I I, I realize that myself, okay? Hey, yeah, I, I, con it's contradictory. <laughs> and vinegar is the problem. <laughs> the salt balances it out. I don't know. Maybe I would like uh, the pickle if we sprinkled it with salt. Salty pickle? I don't oh, know. And we got a block there for ZZ. Taking away those actions. Not that it matters, but we got, a, rotate. we got a three ship convergence on the Poe. Poe, Poe, yeah. watch out. Yeah, Poe without black one here. Uh, can't struggle. Is that a talent roll? Sure was. I like that. Probably a bear <laughs> roll linked action here. Good boost, I guess, but. Oh, he is a little hurt, though, too, and could be initiative killed. May not want to serve up Blackout on a silver platter out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, d debate, debate, debate. Do you protect or do you attack? Firestorm Squadron, I don't understand the difference between Chips and Chris. Uh, They're the same, isn't it? <laughs> I, that's why I don't understand. <laughs> I thought Chris were Chips. Chris were American Chips. But Chips over there were French fries. Fries? What? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> fries. They're both delicious. They're both delicious. Different forms of delicious fried, potato. Fried potato. <laughs> I think uh, vinegar is one of those things where you, you really got to give it some time. Let the taste buds just accept it. Uh, what what you call it? Aggressiveness? Yes. It's aggressive taste. Hey, real quick, Jonah. Uh, we have a shield down on the Sinar Jameis. Did, did it get forgotten on the table, or did we just have a little misclick? Uh, I think it got... Oh, on the on the sign, our Jameis, no damage happened, actually. Uh, okay, so uh, I think so, it's just a misclick on your side. You good? Yeah, yeah. My, my bad. Mm -hmm. This is a boost. Okay, I was going to say boost roll into the kill box. Bold call. <laughs> um, <laughs> like getting behind the cloud. Boost bear there. roll out behind the cloud. All right, much more sensible here. Hey, blackout ability is live if Poe somehow is in the arc and still behind it. Four no. straight getting out. But uh, Kylo still has a shot. Sinar Jameis still got a shot. What crazy post shenanigans can we do here? Focus and barrel roll to the right to get some shots on the Sinar Jameis. Oh, yeah. Focus roll. He closed his wings for that reason. That would probably line up the bullseye. There's a focus and a boost. Boost. So, boost. so he's arc, still... uh, I think that's a double arc dodge. Mm, he's no longer in the Sinar Jameis, just barely. He's still in Kylo's arc, though. Okay. But yeah. he got out of Black Arc, Blackout in Sinar. Yeah. No big deal. So, preferring to take the long range shot from Kylo rather than the up close from the Sinar, though giving up a shot to do it. Two evades on each side. But, I mean, you want to hold on to. Preserve that half point on, on Poe. So it makes sense that he was willing to uh, take the more defensive shot. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure Navi saw the kill box coming. Just needed a plan to make sure he didn't end up in it. I think he was tempted tempted to go in for the kill on black out there. Mm -hmm. But still, if you trade the rest of black out for half a Poe, you're still trading <laughs> down some. Not one thing that we do need to mention is that all of our rounds this weekend have been brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Remember, there's that coupon code Delta2021. It's valid this weekend only. I know sometimes our YouTube viewers, uh, you know, they ask in the comments, hey, the coupon's not working. Well, it's it's for it's for that live fam. All right. It's for that live fam. So thank you to everybody who has supported our sponsors. It's another way to support us. We really appreciate you guys. All righty. Uh huh. We got that. Yes, there's a, a couple people asking, how, do we have access to lists? If you type exclamation point list, there's a PDF of all the lists that were played this weekend. We'll be, uh, once we're done today, I'm going to take some time, get everything uploaded to List Fortress, get you guys some nice graphics out there of the faction breakdowns, all the things you guys want. We know you like your data. I'm sure Pink Brain Matter will do an export uh, with their awesome tools just showing, showing some of that finite meta breakdown. I do want to remind you that the qualifiers, the Sigma and Omega, will be hyperspace as well as the championships here uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks as well all hyperspace for the rest of the series we did want to throw a couple of extended events in here as well and looking forward to seeing how it all shakes out i know one question will that people were asking is with with the championship events being hyperspace some people have opted to bring different lists in extended than they normally would have going with the hey i want to prepare for the championship uh, event so i'm going to play a hyperspace list in extended even if it handicaps mm -hmm. me slightly no i know the feeling i'm doing the same thing in an extended tournament right now um, where i still chose to fly a, hy a hyperspace version because i wanted the table time with it uh, for later hyperspace events mm -hmm. i don't think like <laughs> I don't think saying a list is hyperspace uh, doesn't discredit it immediately. Like, there's still a very good list in hyperspace. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So, it looks like we still have uh, some dials going on. Now, some people are wondering what are the lists that are left here in our top eight. We'll go through those here real quick. Uh, we have Andy Cameron bringing Imperial Salad. He's got Death Rain, Seventh Sister, Fifth Brother, Ved Foslo. Jan Esse has a Cartel Spacer Swarm with Torkoal Mux carrying Zam. Nick Burke right here on the table. Navi right here on the table. Chris Frasser got Wedge and two Rogues E-Wings on the march. Bjorn Nielsen has a Resistance Swarm, four T-70s, and Rose Tico. Tommy Adams, we had on last round, Wedge, a Rogue, Jake, and AP5. And then Julian Hood as well, rounding out the top eight, bringing some more Imperial Salad, Fifth Brother, Seventh Sister, Ved Foslo, Death Rain. Another, the same, very similar list. I, they might actually be the same if I go quickly between the two but uh yeah that that's your current top eight we'll see how it shakes out going into the top four a mirror match final could be interesting <laughs> <laughs> said nobody <laughs> <laughs> i was waiting for you to say that there yep. we go all right, so ZZ2 banked in. Finally has some possibilities for shots. We're going to get a target lock rotate, I'm assuming. 
Actually, no, you have a missile. You don't have to have, have your arc to the front. He does not. Exactly. Some cheeky cluster missiles. I think they re work really, really good with ZZ's ability to get multiple tokens. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Takes a target lock out there. Save it for later. That's money in the bank. Kylo, hard two to the left, trying to chase down some Poe. Turn left two. Mirror match is off according to relative shoe. Oh, relative shoe is Chris, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Chris got Chris got two hundred owed. No, no, relative shoe is another. Jalaran tried to barrel right backward, but there's no space. Ain't no space. Mmm. Mate, Kylo. Okay. Poe. Okay. Oh, hello. Can, can Poe squeeze? I think he can squeeze in there. Overdrive thruster barrel roll. Overdrive. <laughs> all right, he's gonna he's gonna try to get out of the arc by going all the way to the back. That is oh, yeah. tight. I think that's why Kylo. That's why Kylo wanted the boost. He saw it too. Oh man, that is out of arc. We'll, we'll switch to the patron cam. Take a look. That is out of the arc. Oof, man, got out of that one. <laughs> Here's Poe, range one. Four dice, has a target lock already set up. Fully modified shot here. Going into the Supreme Leader. Four hits. He's going to spend one of those fours, most likely. And taking two. Down to two hole, we got five points. Uh, sorry, what? What is that? Where did the number five come from in my brain? <laughs> two health left. I don't. I literally have no idea where the word five points came from. <laughs> Classic Dion. Random words. All right. Range one coming in from ZZ. Yeah, we're gonna see a cluster missile double shot here. Potentially. And that was the target locks expenditure safe there. Mm -hmm. I think he's more excited about the shot into Kylo using cluster missile ability. Yeah, let's find out. I mean, it should be range one. I mean, Poe's barely between them. Yeah, range one. Nice. Double attack. Uh, now has gotten the focus from the first shot of the cluster missiles and Z's ability. Natty's uh, two crits and a hit. Kyle takes that crit. Sad face for Kylo. The crit is a fuel leak. Mm. Why is this so sad? I don't understand. Okay, cu couple of things we need to fix. There's a couple of people who are confused in the chat. Let me help you guys out. Yes, Poe confirmed did have Kylo in the bullseye. Mm -hmm. ZZ could shoot because of cluster missiles, which do not require the turret arc. It simply it is it itself is a front arc weapon. Yeah, they they might be thinking of the Tie SF who requires yeah. the missile to be fired out of the turret. Exactly, but we got you, fam. We got you. That's why we're here. You ask the I questions, mean, we I give mean, you the answers. Hey. I'm sure it, I'm sure this might be the first time we're seeing a missile uh, that wasn't a rocket on these A wings. So, yep, completely understandable. Like I said, I think it's smart tech. Now, with the setup, uh, Nobby 
I think he probably expected to kill Kylo, to be completely honest. Uh, didn't get that. Kylo able to limp away with one health. You saw him draw a little sad face on the table. Oh, that's what he was sad about, that Kylo mm. lived. Okay, yeah. that makes more sense. I was like, what is Navi have to complain about? He's getting good shots. Yeah. Quality time on target. You know, these, these resistance players, they just like to cry, you know? Enjoy drawing on the table now. It's not going to be an option when we're in person again. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marsh Glyph, just... you're not a resistance player. You can't tag me. I was trying to bait you out of the chat. You're n you're a separatist player, sir. Ooh. Okay, that's right. Called out. Dion, Dion full bully mode right now. Got him. See, silence. I'm an X-Wing player. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All righty. <laughs> Your anti A wing bias. Yeah, I don't hide it. <laughs> All righty. So we have uh, 18 minutes left in the clock here. Now, Kylo, Kylo's about to get real squirrely right here. He's in a good position to block Poe if you can make the right choices. That's that's always the the risk there when you use your ace to block. Though wait, wait, right choices. He's got sense. <laughs> you can you can you can make some pretty great choices with sense. Yeah, that's true. A free sense trigger here gonna help the sign our Jameis uh, figure out the best location uh, for a block. Um, we have some uh, calls for a Talon roll potentially behind Poe Dameron here. Did, that he, sense did he just show a, a two bank to the right? He did not no, just show two, a two bank to the left. Oh, okay. To the left. Oh, I was like, well, was it, whoa, 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 wait, what, what direction was that point? <laughs> you're, you're looking at it upside down, I think. All right. Uh, El Merle, drop the focus. I had the same question when we started this game. One cast clouds with blackout. But, you know, Gas Cloud's good with Kylo, so pick yeah. your battles on that one. You just Ky hope your opponent didn't bring Gas Clouds. Okay, so ZZ coming in for the range one primary. Mm -hmm. Focus Tr rotate. Trying to see if he can catch Kylo, though Kylo has that one turn to the left to bully Poe if he wants to. Like the block, like the mm -hmm. kind of self block there. Mm -hmm. No, I mean like legitimately yeah. left. He can go to the left and barrel roll out, get in Poe's way, maybe even get a shot. Maybe I'm not if Poe lands the maneuver, not so much, but has some options there. Uh, went to the opposite direction, trading some shots with ZZ? Question oh, mark. I mean, you have to. Where else are you going? Can try Got blackout on the flank though, so I mean some good focus fire here. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. How much force does he have? I think that would one. One. He's got decision. a single one. Ah, uh, yeah. Focus then. Oh, he might have Bullseye on. Merle, though, too. Mm. Barrel roll. Good call. Good call. With the Bullseye spot there. What was that, Will? Uh, he was where in his current position. He was uh, His Bullseye was on Merle, which means he would only be rolling two attack dice. Oh, assuming that point. ZZ was range uh, two for Merle. 
Uh, it's probably another reason why ZZ's flipped the... Well, no. His uh, lock's on the other ship, maybe? Yeah, his lock's on the other ship. All right, here we go. Range two. ZZ does have advanced optics and able to get out. Blackout, where are you going? You got options there too? Yes, do you go for the points on Merle or do you go for a ZZ? ZZ it is. And that's three. Spends evade and takes a shield. I think that's first damage there on ZZ. Mm -hmm. Merle, hoping a dream. Unlikely to do anything here. One hit. Two evades. Three if you want it. It's free. All right. Yeah, did Kylo shoot? Nah, I didn't bother. <laughs> like gas cloud, range three, focus, whatever. Like, don't care. Not... Uh, <laughs> I, I will just address it. Did Kylo shoot? Because he does get an opportunity here. It's a standard thing that we bring up. I don't think he did. He checked Blackout's arc right away. Mm -hmm. Just want to double check with the players here. I did type in the chat. You want me to hop in, Dion? Just give him a second. I'm in. Just as long as they know. Okay. Miss trigger every ship. Not exactly, but I, sounds like he's denying the shot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not not that's not a miss trigger in my in my book. You have to have the option to engage. And we don't have I don't I don't have the table audio up because it could have been something as simple as, you know, one of the opponents says, all right, blackout shot. You know, like if it's mm -hmm. yeah. Let's give him the shot. It likely doesn't do anything, but I want to avoid the feels bad. And there would at least there would be somebody in the chat who goes, do you own you usually let people shoot if they you know, <laughs> got to keep it fair. Right? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, that's part of us being non-biased. Yeah, we. <laughs> We normally root for the other underdog in most games, though. Just, you know, because it's hard to root on the guy who's like, yeah, crushes ship into the space asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> Turn them into dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't let him shoot at you at all. That's no. right. <laughs> so normally root for the underdog. But uh, so we have uh, uh, Ali and I chat here really concerned about Poe here. Um, the uh, that convergence that we were talking about uh, a couple rounds ago of the three silencers getting onto Poe uh, could be achieved this round. Yeah, and I mean that that's that's gonna give you a pretty penny for <laughs> sure. We're not exclusively rooting for the down under dog this game. Ah! <laughs> Obvious from uh, the uh, the Australian. 
outback? Is is all of Australia the outback, or is it just the you know rural I, areas? I, I I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a hard two with sense there. Just the rule areas. All right, fair enough. One focus there on to Merle. No additional actions. Sinar Jameis, two straight. Looks like he's trying to trying to catch some uh, some Poe. Yep, Poe's heading right there too. Now if if Poe does a real casual one bank though, that's gonna be uh. Range one shot. ZZ looking no, to get into. Poe's doing the hard two. Of what, uh, we know it from Sense. All the Sense, yes. Iron Kylo decided not to try to mess around getting blocked by ZZ there or something. It's going to take the long way. Kylo getting out. Blackout too straight. Merle <laughs> played it a little bit too conservative there. Gave a lot of space. You always got, you got to watch out for that slowest move. Might be punished here. Yeah, right. Uh, focus roll. Get it. Get a oh target lock roll. So yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna hit him hard here. There's the lock. Poe too hard as we saw from sense. And there's the bump. Mm -hmm. So. No shots there from Poe. Yeah, unfortunately, no follow-ups this round on that Poe. Didn't we didn't see the all three of them converge onto Poe? ZZ kind of expected it though. Mm -hmm. uh, but when uh, ZZ looks like expected the conversions. Got two hits out of it. There's blackout into Merle. Spend the lock. Got four. Woo! Merle gonna lose half points. Yep, one away from death. Was able to hold on to uh held on to his life, but that was that was avoidable. That was avoidable. I think he was he was playing a little bit too hard for the uh for the shot into blackout turning at Poe. And he didn't he didn't protect himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh can you type in the chat ZZ? Is ZZ shoot? No, no valid targets. Never yeah, mind. no valid targets. We're good. Okay. So we got chat logs. And Ollie, Ollie is expressing exactly, exactly what we're talking about right here. Like, if, I mean, you this have, is... if you have a free block on an enemy ace, why not take the range one shot? Yeah, but he didn't know he had the block until after he set his dials and after the sense. Right. For oh, context, man. Illinois, yeah. USA has the population twice of Australia. I find that hard to believe. Really? Because Chicago. We're so huge. I mean, Chicago. That's true. Yeah. So huge. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the biggest cities here. <laughs> I think it's worth noting that uh, Nick is behind on points and half of Kylo is worth more than half of Poe. And so maybe it's just a trade he wasn't willing to make because he's still down. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, like, ZZ and Merle prepared for that shot on Kylo, right? Like, look where their arcs are facing. Because that five straight to me says I'm conserving points and only engaging on my terms. I don't know. No, I mean, this is what you got to do with uh, Triple Ace. Uh, rotate in and out of combat. Uh, keep one on the flank. Keep one uh, baiting. Merle coming in for assistance. All righty. And we roll. Zizi right now, arc to the back.
and taking a lock does still have one charge left on cluster missiles and taking a boost there seeing if you can catch Kylo Kylo Ren taking that two turn sitting, sitting real <laughs> nice inside of ZZ's arc right now. You, I mean, barrel roll out mm. to range three. You don't have a shot. Cluster missiles are only range one to two, isn't it? It's true. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Protecting. Protect the lead. Try to catch Kylo on the way. Uh, there you go. I mean, uh, Poe on the way around. I mean, Poe might be on four forward overdrive, yeah. Nah, not quite. Yeah, just keep it, keeping it nice and chill. Now, does Poe have arc on the side there? I don't know. No, he's he's coming in for a different engagement here. I, I think he's got. An, I think he's got the corner now after doing that, that big barrel. That was so cool. <laughs> nah. Oh, I think oh, he's got is. it. Yeah. <laughs> I had something over my screen that's uh, Twitch chat covering that ship over there. Nice and dumb. A big barrel roll across the entire ship. That is so cool. Hit, crit, crit. Nah, there, that's basically natties when you got to focus. Risk uh, averted there. Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, time is ticking here. Uh, Jonah, you're normally good. Wait, do we have a... Oh, we got one more shot coming in. Yep. Merle try, trying to plink something through here on the Sinar. Not going to get it. Now, with Kylo, in Kylo's current position right now, he can probably get a shot on the Poe. But you're going to have mm -hmm. to prioritize defense because you are, you are going to face off Poe face-to-face. Right, like right. Poe will be able to shoot you back. You only got one hole left. Um, you're gonna have to either hope that that agility, um, you know, holds out. Maybe you're attempting to get a block here with the Sinar Jameis. The Sinar Jameis engineer is full, right? So right. even if Merle can, gets a gets a nice risks. shot on you, you can yeah, exactly. You can be risky there. Yeah, with about two minutes here and. Not exactly the fastest dials, uh, no, normal paced dialing. Uh, this will probably be the last round. What is the uh, the points that would flip it for Nick here? Is it just half of Poe? Would half of Merle do it as well? So Nick needs 19 to lead, and Merle only gives you 18. Mm. So if he, if he gets half of Merle without losing anything, it would go to Salvo. Um, and okay. by the way, Nick Nick put his dials down fast. He wants that time. Yeah, um, I bet. Yeah. I mean, there's two minutes left though. Between like moving and shooting, you're not gonna. Yeah, get it it's on two uh, minutes, unli so. unlikely. Yep. Maybe a round of no shooting, but and like a bunch of bumping, but with double reposition ships. And Nick just needs half on anything without losing anything. And that's his win condition. He can at least get into final salvo if he can just score any set of points. Okay. Yeah. He can he'll win if he gets any half of anybody but Merle. Um and w without losing anything. But if he gets Merle, it'll go to Salvo. So um, Merle taking and... that that two bank uh, two turn to the left and the K turn from the Sinar engineer trying to catch some Poe. ZZ turning in. Probably just trying to avoid being shot. Another thing, you don't want to give up those half points. Takes the focus. Hmm. And boosting in as well, trying to maximize the numbers of shots. You still got that target lock hanging out there on Kylo Ren. But the arc is still to the back, so he's going to have to rely on the cluster missiles. It's only range two. No, I think that's... Uh, he's able to dance around the gas cloud here, and it's probably just going to boost. Yeah. 
Focus boost, dodge some marks. Get that shot on Merle. Good winning the game. Yeah. Uh, the ha No, the half of Merle only gives you 17, guys. Only gives you 17. So you would be one point short. So it's not nope. even final salvo? It, it gives you 18. Merle's 35 points. Uh, 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. Rounded right. up to 18. Uh, yeah, but that's, you get that's 18 not how the first time. You get though. 18 the first time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Gold so put. So gold five, I, think, I think we found it. I think gold. Gold five <laughs> meme is gonna be the math memes. I think we got them. Gonna be the math memes. I think we got them. We got them. I'm the GSP. I'm the GSP nerd. With yeah. the math. <laughs> the math. The math. I mean, that's how. I, every time I feel like. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to calculate half points or how many points are scored on my list. I just feel like that, uh, the the meme with all the floating numbers. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. I want to see. Two. I want to see what Poe did here. I'm really curious. Kylo Ren took that barrel roll to the left. I think he's trying to widen a disengage from Poe. Ooh, wings up. So not not planning on barrel rolling today. One to the one bank. Yeah, this is po uh, it focus says, overdrive. Yeah, focus boot target oh, lock. lock. Lock overdrive. I'm gonna say that is uh that is some uh I mean but he can kill Kylo though, right? So no need for a focus. I mean if if he can kill Kylo. He's oh still I think it. I think Kylo's Ooh, does he already have a lock on Kylo? My PCCs. What? Oh, he's just focus locked the Sinar. Yep. I mean, he's... three damage on it, right? You you confirm the win. Yeah, but you just gave you just gave two shots into your Poe. I think this this is leaning a little bit towards uh mm -hmm. towards Nick right now. We'll see what he gets. Hit crit crit. Was able to get the full string. He's taking Can two. Keep it on the shield. Yeah, keeps it on the shield. Merle, nice. Merle, the Merle follow-up shot's going to be important. The funny thing is, I don't, I don't think the 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 overdrive boost would have gotten you past the Sinar, Jameis. I think he would have been still mm. in range one, so which is why he didn't take it. Kylo, Long range, Kylo, downtown. Takes the one. That's half wow. points on Poe. That's going to flip the score. It comes down to Merle. It comes down to Merle. Wow. So Merle. Merle just dead, died. Though. So. <laughs> that's it. Nick that's... Burke. <laughs> wow. From behind there. Able to get the get that last game in here. The the Sinar Jameis might even put the nail in the coffin. Mm hmm Put that foe down for good. Oh, hit hit crit. Oh. Ah, gone. Oh, gone. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Right there. It slips <laughs> out of his fingers in the so last turn. <laughs> Oh man! All right. Final score seventy-five to one forty-seven, and here's Nobby checking that boost. It would not have fit. You can see it right there. 